Today, I'm going to be building a team of the biggest traders in football. These are players that have sold out their clubs for either money or personal glory. And the first player we're putting into this team is probably the biggest trader in football. I'm pretty sure you guys know how big the rivalry is between Barcelona and Real Madrid. And I think it's by far the most biggest and heated rivalry in sport. So imagine when in 2000, Luis Figo, who was a Ballon d'Or winner and one of the world's best players, when he moved from Barcelona to Real Madrid, it was the betrayal of the century. Like imagine Messi or Ronaldo joining their rival clubs in their prime. This was as big as that. Also, Barcelona fans did make their hatred known to Figo because in one of the El Clasicos at the Camp Nou, a fan literally threw a pig's head at Luis Figo. That just shows how much he was hated. And he's the first player we're putting into this traitor's team. And I think he's probably going to be captain too. We're now heading to the Bundesliga for our next trader and it's Mario Goetze. Now I know players moving from Dortmund to Bayern or vice versa it's it's pretty common but the way Goetze did it and the fact that he was a Dortmund Academy product literally this transfer was announced before Dortmund were about to play a Champions League semi-finals. Besides that it was done by Bayern paying his release clause. Among all the Dortmund to Bayern transfers we've seen I think this one was by far the worst but I think since he scored the World Cup winning goal for Germany the German fans of either Dortmund or Bayern, they've all forgiven him. Hilariously enough though, after joining Bayern Munich, he made the transfer again to Dortmund. I don't know what happens in the Bundesliga. Do you know what guys, let's do a tier list of all the traitors we put into our team, because I want to see who's the biggest traitor of them all. Okay, for sure Luis Figo is going in the worst category, which is the big head category. I don't think anyone's going to match his level of treachery. Mario Goetze though, moving from Dortmund to Bayern, I think I'll put that in B tier. Because yeah, we've seen so many transfers happen from Dortmund to Bayern, so I think it's fine. We're now heading to the Premier League to find our next batch of traders, and our next player is someone who made a controversial transfer from Arsenal to Chelsea. Now, there have been a few players who've done that, like Fabregas or Jorginho, who's gone the other way around, but it's the way Ashley Cole did this transfer that made him one of the most hated English footballers in his time. And apparently, this deal was all for money. Arsenal weren't willing to up his wages, and Chelsea he paid him a ton. That's why Ashley Cole was given the nickname Cashley. And just like that, we've got Ashley Cole joining the team. Okay, I feel bad for Arsenal fans because our next player is also a former Arsenal player who betrayed them, but this time joined Manchester United. That's right, it's Robin Van Persie. But you know what? This betrayal was kind of understandable. Arsenal were a bit of a meme. They weren't winning any trophies. Van Persie wanted more, and hence he made the decision to join Man United where he did end up winning the Premier Premier League, Golden Boot, which I think made Arsenal fans even angrier. Okay, where do we put Cashley Cole and Van Persie on the tier list? I think Van Persie's betrayal, it, it wasn't as bad. Probably a B. Like, I'm sure Arsenal fans were annoyed, but they could themselves understand why he did it. Oh, but Cashley Cole is definitely going a bit near towards the big set, but not as bad. We'll put him in the A list. The next traitor in this team also has an Arsenal history, but this time at least it was the other way around. That's right, Soul Cal made the move from Spurs to Arsenal. And that too apparently was a free transfer. I think the North London derby is one of the most fiercest rivalries in football and we rarely see players play for both Spurs and Arsenal. And to make things worse, Sol Campbell was even the Spurs captain. Imagine your captain abandoning ship and joining your biggest rivals. I, I can't imagine how Spurs fans would have felt with this. But yeah, Sol Campbell's joining the team. We're now picking our goalkeeper and for this there are actually a couple of options. Firstly, we could have gone with Thibaut Courtois, who's played for Atletico Madrid, and now, of course, is playing for Real Madrid. But instead, we're going with Gianluigi Donnarumma, who left AC Milan on a free transfer to join PSG. Now, I know Milan and PSG aren't really rivals, but to leave the club that gave you everything and to just join PSG for money, it was, it was brutal. And you saw that when Donnarumma returned to play AC Milan, the fans literally threw fake notes of cash on Donnarumma. So, yep, he's a trade and gets into the team. We're going back to Germany for our next player, but don't worry, it's not a player moving from Dortmund to Bayern, but it's actually the other way around, and that's what surprised me. Niklas Sula made the move from Bayern Munich to Borussia Dortmund. He had a big fallout, apparently, with Bayern, and then betrayed them and left for free to join Borussia Dortmund. An act of betrayal, and that gets him into the team. All right, but I don't think Sula's betrayal is that big, so we'll just put him in the B tier. It was bad, but yeah, I mean, Gunther did the same. 
same thing. Oh, but Soul Campbell's one was fiery. Does he go in the big's head category? Was it that bad? I mean, I think it was in the same level of Cashly Cole. Oh, but Donnarumma thing goes to B tier as well. I don't think it was that bad. By the way, this team is coming together nicely. And we need it to because we're going to be playing a game once we build a full team. And if I lose that game, I'm going to have to open the most expensive pack in FIFA history and discard everything I get. That would legit be a waste of like $50. I'm really going to have to trust these traders to get the job done. We're going back to England to pick our next player. And this guy has not just played for two different Premier League rivals. In fact, he's played for three. That's right, Raheem Sterling first started his career out at Liverpool, but then with the ambition to win more trophies and everything, he ended up joining Manchester City. And Liverpool fans were betrayed by that. And there were also a lot of money memes about Sterling for that. But then later on, he also joined Chelsea. Yeah, that definitely gets Sterling into this team. The next player we're adding into this team made the move from AC Milan to City rivals Inter. And that too on a free transfer. I feel bad for AC Milan. They saw Donnarumma leave and even Hakan Chalanoglu. The AC Milan fans call him a mercenary for leaving for more money as well as now the trophies that he's got. One thing's for sure, he's a traitor. Now, before we pick our final couple of players, if you guys could subscribe to the channel and not betray me, that would be amazing. So yeah, please subscribe. The question is, where do we put Sterling and Hakan Chalanoglu? How bad were their betrayals? I think Chalanoglu goes into the A tier because, yeah, the rivalry is too big. Sterling, I'd say, probably A tier as well. Because yeah, he abandoned ship at Liverpool and we now know how big the Liverpool Man City rivalry is. But we've got nobody in the big Z category apart from Luis Figo and I think that might change. Because our next player made the move from Manchester United to Manchester City. And it was not just any player. It was a player who won a Champions League, a couple of Premier Leagues with United. But that's right, it's Carlos Tevez who made the move to City. A direct transfer like that between two Premier League rivals this was especially at a time when City were on the come up and they had crazy money. But I still don't think Tevez's transfer was as bad as Luis Figo. Like, that is so far unmatched. Maybe our final player could change that. Before that, though, some honorable mentions. And I gotta start with Zlatan. He's literally the biggest journeyman around, played for both Milan clubs. I wouldn't say he's like a traitor, but he's just a different kind of player who just loves playing for different clubs, I'd say. I think Michael Owen is a good shout as well. Eric Cantona, too, left from Leeds United when they were really good to join Man United. Talking about more recent players, I'd say Usman Dembele, who just made the money transfer to PSG after Barcelona invested so much in him. Talking about money, Neymar's gotta be an honourable mention too. Left Barcelona when the club gave him everything, only for money to join PSG. Oh, Balotelli's another one. Do let me know in the comments if I've missed any player. But the final player is going to be R9 Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Are you you might be thinking why he's one of the most loved players in the world. He is, but I can't deny the fact that he's played for Barcelona as well as Real Madrid. Not many players have done that. And also he's played for both Milan clubs. The crazy thing is he brought joy to so many people regardless of which club he played at. And that's why it feels like he's beyond rivalries and everybody loves him. So yeah, R9 is the only one that gets into this C tier. I'm calling it the still loved tier. Because yeah, R9 in spite of technically being a traitor was not a traitor. Also, this team needs a manager. And I think Luis Enrique can do the job because he made the move from Real Madrid to Barcelona. Very controversial. And with that, we've built a treacherous team. Time to get into a game and see if the traitors can help me win. Because if not, I'm going to have to open the most expensive pack in the game and discard it for nothing. Yo, we're facing a guy who's got Carlos Tevez himself. The battle of the traitors. But we've not just got Tevez. We've got a full squad of traitors. We're not losing not good. This is not good. Um, we concede in the first minute. We might actually lose. Guys, there's just no chemistry in our team. Everybody's just playing for themselves. What is happening here? We might actually concede another one. Bro, Donnarumma, what are you doing? Guys, if you ever needed proof of not assembling a squad of traitors, this is it. Only a bit of hope I have from nope. Arline Ronaldo and he couldn't score too. Okay, we could get a goal back here. No, how do we not score that? Or maybe a goal from R9, Ronaldo. Oh, please. Somebody score. No way, man. Why is our defense so bad? Bro, we're just getting destroyed. The traitors have betrayed me. Guys, I've just accepted defeat. We're done. You guys know what that means. I'm gonna have to open the most expensive pack in FIFA and discard everything we get. Please don't give me anything good for once. 
Dutch striker. What is this? I don't know the club, so it's fine. That's Bologna, I think. Xerxy. And also... Rasmus Hoyland, no! Hoyland's actually good. I can't believe it. Oh, my days. Look at the amount of good players we got. Even Declan Rice. Oh, and even a cheeky Virgil van Dijk. But I'm doing it, boys. All of this discarded. It's done. The traitors have betrayed me. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, why not watch me build the most loyal squad? Those players would never betray me. Click here to watch that.